check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Good day everyone! In the last video lesson, we talked about opinion marking signals to share your opinions and ideas about a certain topic. In this lesson, we will be talking about different multimodal texts. Pamilyar ka ba sa term na ito? Kung bago ito sa pandinig mo, halika! Manood at makinig ng mabuti sa ituturo ko. The target most essential learning competency for this video is Comparing and contrasting the presentation of the same topic in different multimodal texts. Let's go straight to the topic. What are multimodal texts? A text may be defined as multimodal when it combines two or more semiotic systems. Semiotics is the study of the process of making meaning from signs. There are five semiotic systems in total. Audio, gestural, linguistic, spatial, and visual. Linguistic. This deals with the vocabulary, structure, grammar of oral or written language. Visual deals with color, vectors, and viewpoint in still and moving images. Audio is about volume, pitch, and rhythm of music and sound effects. Gestural is the movement, facial expression, and body language. Other term for this is kinesthetic. Spatial has something to do about proximity, direction, Position of layout, organization of objects in space. So, to make it simpler, multimodal text involve reading, writing, listening, speaking, and viewing. These processes are called modes. Any combination of two or more modes will result to a multimodal text. Gamitin natin halimbawa ang video lesson na kagaya nito. Dito sa video lesson, ilang modes ba ang ginagamit natin? First, viewing. At the same time, listening and reading. Tama? So, this is an example of multimodal text. Ngayon, from the five semiotic systems that are presented, here, we used audio for the sound and music that you hear, linguistic for vocabulary, and visual for images. Multimodal text can be paper-based, digital, or live. Paper multimodal texts include picture books, textbooks, graphic novels, comics, and posters, where meaning is conveyed to the reader through varying combinations of visual written language and spatial modes. Digital multimodal texts such as film, animation, slideshows, e-posters, digital stories, and web pages convey meaning through combinations of written and spoken language, visual, audio, gestural, and spatial modes. This video lesson is under digital multimodal text. Live multimodal text for example, dance, performance, and oral storytelling convey meaning through combinations of modes such as gestural, spatial, spoken language, and audio. A simple post on Facebook or Instagram with a caption is already a multimodal text since it is a combination of a text, a picture, and sometimes a video. 
A TikTok video with a purpose to inform or to teach is another example. Graphs, charts, and tables are also multimodal texts. Multimodal texts are part of our everyday lives, especially now that most of our actions are done online like online class, online shopping, online banking, and a lot more. We see different pictures, videos, advertisements that can easily catch our attention by using these different modalities. However, or whichever multimodal text you choose, you can deny the fact that they are everywhere. And we learn or acquire knowledge using any of these modes without us even being aware of it. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!